Hi. Now in a previous video I showed you that if you had a second order linear differential equation where a, b and c were constants then we would work out the auxiliary equation, figure out what m is and depending on the type of roots that we got we would get a particular general solution. And in this video what I want to look at is an example where the roots of this equation, the auxiliary equation, are imaginary roots. And I showed you that if this were the case then the roots would be complex, they would have the form p plus or minus iq where p and q are real numbers and i was the square root of negative 1. And that led to the general solution of the form y equals e to the power px all multiplied by a cos qx plus b sine qx. Now I've got an example here d squared y by dx squared plus 2dy dx plus 4y equals 0. You might like to pause the video, have a go at this and uh, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all what I'd want to do is set up the auxiliary equation. So we we'll just write that in, auxiliary equation. And that auxiliary equation for this example is going to be 1m squared or just simply m squared plus 2m and then plus 4 equals 0. And normally if you've got your auxiliary equation you check out see whether it factorizes but in this example it doesn't factorize because you'll notice that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac if we were to work it out b squared would be 2 squared 4 minus 4 times a times c that's going to be 4 minus 16 which is negative 12. So you're going to find that you're going to have imaginary roots. So we need to use the quadratic formula to figure out what m is. So m would be equal to minus b, so that would be minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's going to be 2 squared, minus 4, times a being 1, times c, which is 4, and this is all divided by 2a. 2a, 2 times 1, which is 2. OK, we'll just border this off and we'll work out what m turns out to be. So we get that m equals minus 2 plus or minus and we've got 4 then minus 16 which is going to be negative 12. So we've got the square root of negative 12. Our discriminant in other words is less than 0. And this is all divided by 2. Now if we break down the root of minus 12 we can think of this as 4 times 3 times negative 1 and we can square root the 4 and we can square root the negative 1 so we've got square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of negative 1 is going to be i so we've got 2 root 3 i and that's all divided then by 2. And if we divide 2 into each of these two terms on the top, we end up with minus 1 plus or minus root 3i. So when it comes to the general solution now, okay, we'll just write that in, general solution, we can pick up on what the general form was and Comparing it now with our complex number here, we see that it's going to be y equals, well it was e to the power px, p for us is negative 1, so it's e to the power minus 1x, or just simply minus x, all multiplied by a cos qx plus b sine qx, q being the imaginary part, and that's going to be, for this example, root 3. So we've got a cos root 3, and then x, and then plus b sine root 3 multiplied by x. Okay, 
So I hope that's given you an idea then how you go about handling the ones where we've got imaginary roots. Now don't forget there are other situations that you can have. You can have real and different roots and you can also have roots that are equal. Each of these have their own forms of general solution. And you can see links to these particular videos, examples, etc. If you just go on my website, examsolutions.net, it's all totally free. And uh, hopefully that will give you further help on this type of question.